Welcome to Bottom Line Sports Talk. I'm George Abraham. You know my partner, Albert Campman. Uh, a lot of stuff to talk about in our local segment, but let's start with uh, Boardman High. I, when I saw the Hermitage score, I knew they were good way back, and they haven't disappointed. Yeah, Boardman's really good, and they're moving on. Congratulations as they hold off Wooster, 58-51. Derek Anderson leads the way. Uh, now they're going to get play against Camp McKinley. We, we know all about McKinley, they're 22-01. Um, Boardman, unbelievable year. Um, when you lose one game, Coach, that is a unbelievable record. As George said, Hickory's favorite to go to the state championship in, the, in Pennsylvania. Yeah, they handled them. So, and, and that's how and Boardman handled them. Right, yeah, the minute I saw that score, yes, I, and Farrell wasn't even. Not a game. No. So I knew how good they were. This will be, and I'll tell you, this game's winnable. The reason I know, they played Butler at Christmas. Mm -hmm. And I would say Butler and Boardman would be a seven, eight point. I'd favor Boardman. Yeah, I agree. So I'm looking at this game thinking, other than the site, yep. I don't like playing McKinley at the Civic Center. Yeah. But McKin McKinley has always had a great reputation. Uh, Hoover's handled them, so I think Boardman can handle them also. Good luck to Boardman. Good point. That's a good point. As, the, as you move, in, move on. Also, the, uh, in basketball, South Range move, moves on also. Um, they, led, led by Carly Scarp Scarpetti, um, West, West Branch also moves on, uh, beating Poland 44, 43, 43. We also, we also have uh, Canfield moving on, led by Joe Bruno, and a, a, and a big win over Poland. George, they lost by 28 points the game before. That, yeah, and come, I saw and come that, back and, win. and I got to give him credit. He got them ready, and I'm hoping the other guys weren't thinking with their feet up. I learned that lesson once. My father, I was leaving the house. Right when I was pulling, he goes, you better be careful tonight. We had crushed this team. Right. You better be I'm like, yeah, okay, Dad, I, I, we will. You know what happened. Overtime yes. lost. And girls basketball South Range moves on also, um, beating Crestview 48-32. They were the favorite in that game, and they move on to the district the district final at the Stutters Fieldhouse. Um, they'll meet champion in, in their in their game. Columbia, Columbiana, led by Todd Johnson, are trying to build something special. The Clippers took a special direction that with a, with a 58-47 victory over Carna Mooney, 19 and four now. They move on to play the Springfield Tigers. All these teams moving on. We we will try to hit all of them uh, this time of year, as I said. Somebody has goals for state championships, some goals regionals, some goals districts. Anybody's still playing now, as George always says, is having a good year. You had a good year. If you yes. have, you're loading that bus up tomorrow night, you had a real good year. And wrestling, one of our favorite sports, mm -hmm. because we appreciate what these guys go through. This is, these guys sacrifice from lunch on. Yes. Because they're working out in the morning. They're working out after school. They're keeping their weight. Down. I used to sit at lunch with those guys. One of them would have an ice cube. One would have a little jello. And I thought to myself, man, these guys have dedication. Yeah. They have the discipline, the double D, discipline and dedication to get, it, get it done. Um, two rivals, Austin and Borman, first and second in Division One. moving on. Coach Don Mancini said it best. We might be rivals, but we root for each other. Coach John Bird said the exact same thing. Um, a lot of times in the off season, they meet, they wrestle, they wrestle with each other. They wrestle. They, they also run a Green Machine cl uh, wrestling club together. Uh, nice to see rivals understand the competitive nature of sports and really root for each other. As these two two explosive programs move now in, on into uh, the state into the state uh, wrestling tournament. Cleveland always brags, George, like we got the best wrestling. We got the best mm -hmm. wrestling. Oh, yeah. Youngstown proves they're ready. And I'll tell you, these guys doing this uh, out of season, some, th this is why they're so good. Mm -hmm. These guys, th they're not amateurs. They know that if you don't go year-round, those teams will crush you. Yeah, wrestling now is year-round. They'll go, they'll, they'll, it, it'll be a different kind of record. It'll be Roman Greco. It could be different styles. But they are wrestling. Great conditioning, great technique led by coaches that are going year-round also. And the congratulations to Coach Don Mancini and Coach John Byrne for, for a job well done. Yeah, we appreciate you guys, believe mm -hmm. 
We know. Yeah, we had Coach Mancini on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, maybe that might be another thing we do at the end of the year and, yeah. and try to get try to step up the wrestling pro program because we, we appreciate wrestling, cross country swimmers. Well, I thought all, all those kids that work individually. They had that one match at the mall. I thought that was a sensational. That was great. I thought it was a sensational it? idea. Uh huh. And because uh, I had seen, I was watching some film one night, and one of the Pine wrestling kids is a wrestler. And he's a football player, and they were showing him wrestling outdoors at the stadium. And I thought, man, is that a great idea? Because most people, if they they're not going to just wander in there. No, you got to get them. Yeah. And that's what see. That's why I respect the guy. When I went to Butler, basketball was already. I mean, this guy's doing everything himself. Uh -huh. And he finally got that thing turned around pretty right. much where they're you know they're good most all the time. It's hard. Yeah. When when you are. Your own booster club. Yes. Yeah, that, that makes it very difficult. I do know that Borman and Austin both have great booster clubs yeah. that do a lot of things outside of the realm that the coach doesn't have to worry about. Yeah. So he can concentrate on making great kids and great wrestlers out of these out of these kids. Exactly. Taking about moving on to college, Youngstown State boys and girls will open up Tuesday. Their first round of the Horizon Tournament. Uh, the men locked up the fifth seed, get a home, get host, host the eighth seed, uh, Milwaukee Panthers. Uh, Milwaukee has beaten them once this year, and they beat them once. On the other floor. Yes. <laughs> uh, interesting. I, I can't. I give up. Interesting. Yeah, on the road, they beat each other. Uh, Youngstown's playing great basketball right now, though. I would really I would really favor, favor Youngstown to, to win. They ended up 17-4 uh, and 10-8 and 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 in the horizon. A very great, a very good year for Coach Calhoun and his crew. Um, George. When, when Coach Slocum left, we were, uh, we were, I was especially, very derogatory on what, what Youngstown did. But I will give Coach, Coach Calhoun, he did figure out finally he couldn't play 110, 110 to 109. No, no, he, yeah, he, you know, he, he did figure that yeah. out. I'll give him credit. And getting better that's players, that. too. That's all part it's of it. It's all recruiting. It, it's, we talk about it. You know, I get after Cape a little bit on Twitter. They call me, and half of it, I'm just... Get these you guys. like to get them. But, but at the same like time, you know, till you get better players and you can draw all the X's and O's you want. I'm watching this Chris Collins at Northwestern. And believe me, it doesn't matter what he draws. I watched that team. They, I saw that game yesterday. I looked at it. And I, one losing 11 in a row. One losing 12 in a row. Northwestern and Wisconsin. And uh, Nebraska. Uh -huh. And I was like, my gosh. And I watched that game. It was just pathetic. Yeah, and the, the fact of the matter is Nebraska should be better than Newca uh, Northwestern. Northwestern. I agree. Northwestern has really limits on who they can bring in. Yeah. You know, that's... Academically. Academically. Yeah. Hey, Al, yeah. how about from the foul line? Six for 21. Men's college basketball. Wow. Now, wow. There's no explanation. No, that that's sad. And that's, that's really sad. But, yeah, some some schools have just have all the facilities yeah. and have all the what, where will all the win big. Northwestern's not one of them. And I would think Nebraska, too. I think they have a nice football facility at Northwestern, and I think Nebraska has football. I would be shocked if they're Nebraska, both football schools. Yeah. No question about it. And that's why they were so excited. Yeah. Northwestern made the tournament a couple years ago. Yeah. First time they ever. They thought maybe they could get something going there. And, Al, if you'd have seen that game. They can't. They out-trumped each other. Like, with one dumb thing after another, one throw away out of bounds, one, you know, as I say, six for 21 from the yes. foul line. Yeah, I've seen some both of them play. And both of them have no talent, you know, especially Northwestern. Yeah, Northwestern has no no talent at yeah. all. And, and uh, Holberg, he has he has that pro pro mentality. Yeah, and he thinks that's that will bring. He better Nebraska get some pro back. players. Yeah, he has to get some better players. I'll tell you what, I couldn't pay him. I watched him. I I couldn't. He he should come get his check like this, like because I watched the game before against right. Ohio State. Right, I remember State. you did. Ohio State was going through the motions, beating them by twenty on their floor. Right, that doesn't happen. Yes, I mean even. Georgia Tech, Miami, on, the road, yes. Clem, on uh -huh. the road, at home, they can get you. Right. right How about there. Youngstown women? Yeah, it's an unusual year. Yeah, and they, well, we know why. Yeah. yeah we don't make use excuses. No. When you lose your two big girls, you're, 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 you're really on, on, on the dead, dead pile. Penguins girls, 13 and 16, 6 and 12 on the year. Um, they go against Cleveland State. Um, they split the season series. So I, they have to be thinking. Yeah, but they each one at home, and yeah, that's the game. Yeah, yeah, we got a shot. They have to go to Cleveland State. Yeah, that's a little different. Like George said, Youngstown State lost at home to Milwaukee boys, and, and, and now they have to go to Cleveland State girls. We'll see how they do on the road. But I have a lot of confidence in, in Coach Barnes. He's always got his team ready. I think they'll do fine. Yeah, in that men's tournament, 
I'm going to tell you right now. Wright State's winning that thing. I watched them. The other I'll be surprised if they don't. Let's I watched them way. go into Northern Kentucky. Mm -hmm. and I'm, first of all, both teams are terrific. Both teams are coached, past coached. Mm -hmm. And I looked at those guys and I thought, boy, let someone catch them in a tournament like at about a 10 or 11 seed that isn't ready mm -hmm. to play, you're, getting, you're going out. Yeah, I think, yeah, Wright, Wright State's good. Uh, oh. I saw that. I saw the thing that count today. That they, they said they're playing Michigan State in the in the yeah you know, one they write up yeah. early. Yeah, Lenardi, one of those. Yeah, yeah. they haven't played Michigan State. On a C note. That's what always happens, doesn't it? <laughs> right. Scratch that. Because <laughs> they'll beat them up. Say. Yeah. They, they, what, they'll get someone else. They'll surprise. Right, them. Yes. Izzo beat them up. Right. No. Let's talk MLB. It's around the corner. Looking at our totals. Mm -hmm. I was studying yeah, them. You two more days, by the way. I got, I got it. Okay. I, I talked okay. to my boys. We're ready to go. I okay. got my teams. Okay. Uh, season's around the corner. I didn't realize this clown show, this Manfred was putting that three. I knew the three batter thing was being talked no, about. That's him. And I knew it was. I didn't know they were doing it. Doing it. What are we doing? Yeah, the, the game of baseball was not meant to be. After Deborah, Deborah they did not come up with these perfect dimensions, perfect rules to have them mess with this. Um, so you have so you have a left-hander you you want to face. At, 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 you bring him in. Yeah, you bring him in. That's you bring all, you the bring guy back for the next yeah, guy. That's the way it's always been. Forever. Yes. Now, if he's tired, that's on you for using him last Right. Time. But I cannot grasp the three the three. Batter rule that you or the end made. of the inning. Let's be clear. Yes. A lot of people yes. probably know right. what we're talking about. What are those clowns? Well, talking the relievers about? are bringing. They're bringing, bringing a reliever now, and if he comes in the game and with no outs, <laughs> he has to face, face face at least three hitters. At least three. At least three. No, not nothing less. Now, he can face more than three, but he has to face at least three. Mm -hmm. Um, and how many games in the old days? Lefty, righty, lefty. Grant Jackson bring in him, then bring in Romo, then bring in Teak. There's going to be a lot of um, up and down the minor leagues of pitchers this year. Will they keep extras? No question. They're going to try to do that, too. Because I'll just say that pitcher is wild. And in the three batters, he, he, he throws 16 pitches to each batter. The other fouled him off. And he's at the 48 pitches after three guys. He's done for two, three days. And that's, uh, that's, it's, it's crazy. The rule is not good. The rule is they didn't think it through. I don't like it a bit. No, you They're trying everything they can to speed up we the game. We were talking the other day at breakfast. Old timers. That's right. old timers day at Pizza Joe. Oh, yeah. you know. And the guy looks, he says to me, he says, when's the last time you went to a ball game that you were watching? Never. Like, they, you, you ask me that question all the time. to get out of there. You ask me questions all the time. You don't do that. No, we go to enjoy the game. The only time we don't enjoy it is 40 degree weather and, and rainy, and we'll change our tickets if it's like that. I we'll call it out. We want I, it. It's sunshine. It. It's it's 75, 80 degrees. Oh, one we're day we were there. down there. It was the greatest. Yeah, so it is. It's it was awesome. actually hot, it's and nice. I enjoyed it. It's so nice. Uh, Houston's getting thrown out in spring. That's not changing. No, it's not changing. It's going to be a crazy year. People booing them. There'll be some fights. Those things. Don't, it's going to be pretty nuts. You agree? Yeah. It's going to be pretty nuts. Yeah, really I don't is. think people are going to No, they, they don't have no idea how nuts it's going to be. All right. I am looking. You and I, we've spoken briefly, but not a lot. I see the Reds as last year's Twins. So do I. You do too. So we're yeah. on the same page. My, my, I don't remember what the Twins number was last year. Oh, yeah. You know, but the Reds, they've raised up. They knew. Yeah, they're like on us. They we caught out. them off guard with the Twins yes. last year. We're not catching them off guard yeah. with the Reds. They know, and, they know and, too. and I think the odds are bad. Like, they're going to make those You know, like, if you yes. want the over. Yeah, that's no question. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you're very seldom. Catch them get, cold. Get them the other way. No, you don't catch them cold. <laughs> no, no. No. Pirates are right around... 95 losses, and that's what we expect. Yeah, wow. They just lost another pitcher today. Did they? Yes. Like they had some. But that, that's what I I'm know, saying. I know. Brawl's out, brawl's out right oh, now with a left-hand shoulder. With well, the that shoulder. kid yesterday got hit with a – well, he's out for six weeks or something. It's, it's really Clay crazy. Travis or whatever? Yes. Some of the country thing. Holmes. Doesn't it? Clay Holmes. Clay Holmes. Yes. Like country. Yes. NBA, the Lakers. The stink of LeBron. Now, you can say what you want about him. But don't put them under the gun like with one of the new guys. Zion's coming up. Okay. They take one in the shorts the night before. They get spanked. They get caught basically not ready to play. It's NBA. The next night, I'm looking at lines coming down. down and I'm thinking to myself, what's going on here? There's no big boy. Their eyebrows are not playing. Play. No, that's why. Well, I'll tell that's you right why. now, LeBron played. Yeah, and he takes over the game. No question about that. You said him Still before. one of the two best players in basketball. And uh, when he plays and he wants to play, look out. 
I, I, I've said all along it's going to be Lakers, Milwaukee in the finals. I, I see no way it can't be. I mean, you're going to predict the right, right this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't have, I have no idea, unless the Clippers turn around and play so much better. Yeah. How, how, there's, there's, there's talent there, but they haven't played. Yeah, they, they've won five, five, four in a row, yeah. but they have not played good. You're right. And they beat the Sixers yeah, without them beating the Sevens. So there's a team in disarray. Yeah. There's a team Now, who disarray. goes? Coach? Man, coach. A, a or B? Coach. What Simmons are in B, coach. If they don't, the coach is gone. Coach is Brown, gone. He's gone. Yeah, and they always brag about him. Yeah, they always say Coach Brown's tremendous. He yeah. does this and this. Yeah, and that. the process. Wasn't he the guy? Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. I gone. agree. Someone's going in Philly. The coach or one of the stars. We yeah. do agree. You and I agree on that. Yeah, coach is gone. Coach is gone. There you go. Now the freak. He had one yesterday. He has them every day. He's, he's coming down on the break. And, and they turn him. I'm thinking, well, what's he going to do now? Well, I'm going to show you what he did. He spun dribbled and reached out about 13 feet and slashed it like you him. would on the back of the door. Yeah, he nerf balls. He yeah, nerf he balls. Does. Yeah, he's that kind of athlete. And you know what he's doing, though? What's amazing? People don't realize that. You have to really follow the metrics. And right. I'm, I'm, but I see now and again, he's doing it with a minimum of minutes. They're not loading him. Right. But he has the same effect because he's only playing like – 28 minutes. He's just, he's just a sensational player. Yeah. That's all. You can tell by the record. They're going to win 70 games. Yeah. So Milwaukee, it'd be interesting with the odds are in the, in the finals if they played like a Zuby favorite. Because they would have home floor. Yeah. Let me see what, see what, see what comes up down on. Yeah, he sits with Orange Man. Now, here, Houston's starting to get some. Uh, I'm going to say something about this small, but this is interesting. You and I just hate too many three pointers. But you know what's starting to happen to them? They're starting to get the ball more to the other guard, and he's taking it to the basket. Westbrook. The guy you love. He's the best. In other words, they're saying this small ball's working. Well, it is in name, but if you look at how Westbrook's playing, he's taking it to the tent. Well, I really like, though, really like what they did now. I mean, most times I did not like. They went five small. Yeah. I like that. See, I don't mind when they had. A, I didn't like a post putter stand getting in the way in there. No one's yeah. shacking you in there anyway, right? Yeah, there's nobody there anymore. I anyway. remember one time we were no. playing Uniontown, six seven six, you know, whatever. Right. Guy says to me, he goes, "Wow," he says, "I don't know." I said, "We don't throw it in there anyway. It's not affecting me on defense." Now I got to guard them. Yeah, that yeah. does. But they don't hold any good wall either. No, that's what. Who throws it in there in the no, pros? No, no. All the big guys are euros. They're step backs. Yes. Yeah, they'll back in. They'll back in with three or four dribbles. They don't. They don't make post move. No. They use, the, they use a post power move. No. But I do. Do I like? I like to use the team right now, and uh, um, that's that's one of the teams that I want to put some money. And on. And I saw one there. of those guys the other day too. They said they're small. The one dude. Oh yeah. The one dude. No. Albert. He has arms. They all go here to the wall. I, a guy for the Lakers shot. He came off the weak side. Smacked that thing. <laughs> They said he's only six six. I said, yeah, but I'll bet his wingspan oh, yeah, seven feet yes, wide. Yes, you know, I really, like this Houston team right now. Uh, all right, that's, I'm glad you said. Yeah, that. they're playing. They're they're playing true. Okay, small ball. The way Let, you like to play. All right, let's talk about spring football. We do this every year for our fans that are just casual. What are they looking for in spring football, Al? Well, there's number one, no injuries. No injuries. That's really important. To all me. right, and number two, depth. They're looking for depth. Who who can who can kind of play number three? If you don't have a quarterback, then to find one. Yeah, that, that's what they're. That's what they're doing. Find them in the portal. Yeah, that's changing. They're finding. See that helped. Jeez. That helped immensely. Before they couldn't find one. Well, I'll tell now you there's what. eighty. George got the one guy from Wake, right? Yeah. Yep. Watch him. Oh, Watch yeah. him with those studs all. Newman around. or new. Yeah, yeah, so, no, yeah. No, you got them. Yeah. Well, there's so many out there. Hey, they play Alabama regular season in September. I'll do that. Georgia, Early. Alabama. There's Early. some bad feeling there. He just stole his strength and conditioning mm -hmm. guy. I knew that. There's some bad... Mm -hmm. Well, Saban has bad feelings for everybody. Yeah. So it really doesn't make a difference. No, yeah. He's not <laughs> a happy man. Either. No. No, that's... Hey, now, the local teams, we'll talk Ohio State. First of all, Pitt and Penn State, both bringing a lot back, a lot on the defense. Quarterbacks are back. Penn State has a one-game season. Ohio State at home in a whiteout in October. Pitt, you don't know. They don't play Clemson. They always have a chance to win their division. Yeah. They have a chance to their league all the time. Yeah. But the other, the, the big boys are out in Columbus. They they don't reach. Oh, they just reload. No. No, they, they have the same looking players all the time. So it doesn't. Like you know. Noah's Ark. Yeah. Two of everything. Yeah. Ohio State, Alabama, Oklahoma. Right right down, right down the line. Yeah. You know, Georgia. Two, and Clemson. Those are the five. They look like the same players. How about Ohio, different jerseys. Ohio State plays Oregon this year. An opening week, 
Your buddy at Southern Cal has Ohio to State. play Saban in a neutral. Oh, he's getting whooped. Oh, no. And so is as Oregon's getting whooped, too. <laughs> yeah, I say we're going to take names on yes. him. Yes. Yeah. Now, offseason, we should make sure our viewers understand the strength and conditioning coaches are the babysitters. That's all it sees them. That's the rules. I mean, that's who, that's who, that's who, that's who, has, that's who, that's who has control of them. The head coach doesn't have control of them, man. He said, go, go, get, go take them, coach. And he, so you have to have a lot of trust in them. Oh, yeah. It's the guy. It's their number one guy. They're usually those crazy guys banging guys in a helmet before the game, too, yeah. without, a, yeah. without a helmet. It's your number one guy. Yeah. No, in today's world, if you talk to head coaches, they'll, they'll tell you right now, that's the number one guy who makes our team. He's going to make our team for the next five months. That's, and that's what, that's what they did. No, no, you no. Know, and they, no. And you'll tell, you ask, ask the players. Yeah. Besides the head coach and the respect yeah, they, they have for him, oh, they who do they fall in love with? Yeah. The strength and conditioning. I watch coaches. them before the game. They're whipping them up into a frame. Oh yeah, those Nazis. They are nuts. They usually have the shaved head and they're headbutting them without a oh, helmet. Oh, they look different. <clears throat> and yeah, I'm like, yes. no, this guy here, he's yes. not all there. Uh -huh. Now NFL collective bargaining. The thing that the average person doesn't understand, <laughs> that you and I have about as much in common with the cab driver as Russell Wilson and Rogers do with the guy making minimum. Yeah, they're they they're not even caring about that. They don't think about them. They're not the money they make compared to the minimum salary guy. Did you hear Jeez. Pouncey? Yeah, I, I saw his act. I saw his words. So I saw it. I mean, oh. how he wrote it. You know, oh, it's, it's awful. Well, it's just, why, why can't he just say I'm not for it? <laughs> that's what we should say. He's a thug. Everybody just looked at him and thought, who is this idiot? Yeah, Any normal human being just thought saying, he's, I'm a, not for he's an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> just cussing, yeah, cussing every other word. word. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, Roma. I normally would mention it because he's not a player, but it's entertainment, so we have to mention <laughs> it. $17 million a year. Now, I know he's pretty good. I told a guy the other day at breakfast, I said, Albert could do the exact same. Well, there's many people I said, no, no, but I said. I they said every day, something. though. They said something. They said, I said, look, I get close. I said, Albert could do that. I'm every. a football guy. He misses just, a million. I'm a football guy. Can you, see the, you see the formation. Plus, but, I, he, but, but he has the advantage over me that he sees the films all week. And so, he is in the meetings. And he's in the meetings, yes. We're going to try to. So he knows yeah. exactly. I mean, it's not, you can, you can tell what's going to, the play, the next play is going to be. But he's wrong three out of five. And I find it annoying, they, by the way. They give him, so do I. I, I don't like it. I don't him. like I watch what it sounds. All right, let me ask you. 17 million. Nance makes five million. I know. I, saw, I looked up, I, I had to look him up. Okay. But uh, I, I knew, I'm just asking you, he can't like that. No, he's all, he's going to kill, wants to kill him. Don't you think, or he's, am I? He's the most special guy there is out there. He's doing golf, masters. Yeah, he's the best. Does, he makes five million. Yeah. Uh, but they, but they know more than us. They figure Romo's bringing in every Tom, Dick, or Harry. Let me ask. Doesn't know anything about Can football. Can I ask you something? Yes. I never listen to announcers, so it doesn't make a difference. That's what I was going to say. Have you ever said I'm going to put the game no, on a four o'clock Romo's on? No, never. I don't even care who's. I'll catch our. We have a good buddy who runs a bunch of newspapers for the guy who owns the Pirates. He's now in Florida. He was in Altoona. Uh -huh. He'll put in his column on Wednesday as well who the refs are. You know who's announcing the. It doesn't even makes a difference to me. No, I'm not like you said. I'm not listening. I listen to the Red Zone, and I, I put the other game on. With I, no same, I do the same thing. Yeah, so we don't know. You know, it's interesting, Jordan. I was going to carry on with this. I figured you might talk about it. The guy who makes the most money on TV is Jim Rome. Yeah, yeah. thirty million dollars. He's the Godfather. Thirty million he gets paid. He's a I had. I would have never guessed him. Thirty million. He's the guy. Like Nance and like yeah. the player Nance and Jim Rome. I'm thinking. Well, they're play by play guys. I know, but still. He has the national radio I know he show does. and a TV yeah, he show. Does. You the, know what made him? Do you remember what made him? The fight with. Uh, I think it was Stage. <laughs> he was calling him uh, Chrissy Everett. Yes. Jim Everett. He said, "If you do it again, he did it again. He jumped wow. up, tipped his chair over. Dollars. If that was an act, it was studio wrestling at its best. And this guy's still in money. You know who's on whose contract's up? Skip Bayless. They're thinking of bringing six him and back half, with six and a half. He made. But they're thinking of bringing him back with Stephen A. Oh, are they? Dumping really? Max. Oh, really? That's a rumor. Okay. That's a rumor. Uh, Brady. It appears he's moving on. Uh, we had the Syracuse coach on the radio show, there, and he said, "Guess what?" He said, "Tom Brady's coming to the game today. Some rich guy that owns a stone quarry or something." Right. Dag on if I don't put the game on, and there's old uh, Did you Edelman. See him? Yeah, he was Did right in the front. On? You saw them both. Guess who they were facetiming? Who? The Tennessee coach. Were they really? Yes, they were. Rabel. Right there. <laughs> so I don't know if they're doing that to show off or something. Because yeah. Julie was going, he's coming back. And Brady was going like. Oh, is that what they were doing? Is oh. that what he's saying? Yeah, he was. And I Brady got was going, you. 
Come that's on, Joey. You know, he, I get it, yes. He's not coming. I'll be surprised when he comes back, I don't you? No, he's done. Okay. I said it here way before. Okay, okay. Everybody laughed at me. Okay. Um, Combine's a TV production, no more. <laughs> for us, it is. But for the, the for the NFL teams, they truly love it. They, they think it makes their, 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 makes them above and beyond. I just think you put the game film on. Belichick you know? went to Murphy's, bro, and worked the guy out for Middle Tennessee. Yeah, so did Tomlin, too. I guess the, uh, the, the the Broncos and Rams didn't come. Yeah, I know. They're, yeah, they're, they they have all kind of. You know, they're gonna have to move it. You know what they're after, you know what's gonna happen. You know what's gonna be next, Las what? Vegas. Try to make it. Uh, yeah, you have to make entertainment it. Entertainment factory. Yeah. Huh? Well, you see this year in the uh, draft, they're bringing them up to the podium on a boat. They're on the water, and they're going to bring them up on a boat. <laughs> Jeez, oh yeah, man. Studio it's Wrestling has invaded. Of my, it's out of my... Yeah, it, it is. You're, you're yeah. not like... Oh NCAA my. Hoops, we've got about four minutes, Cap. Duke's going uh, to the four line. How about that? They're going to kill somebody in that somebody's first round. Somebody's 12, 13. I said they're going to kill somebody you, in that first you round. You think, you know, we're in the tournament. This is going to be a dude. That's what they've done there. All these losses are going, how, how many, are three in a row? No. Oh. How about I, I up until, no, Virginia was a regular game. Right. The three before, 300 points. Yeah. Now, when did he, I know he doesn't have what he had, but he ain't given up 300. No. There's no defender. He has to be. Now, do you think, I watch him, and I get the idea that he thinks, we need these ones. We can't win without them, but I can't coach them either. That's where he's at. They're not guarding. That's where he's at. Do they guard? No. 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 300 points in, a, in three games? No. That tells you right there. They're not guarding. And, they like, and it isn't like they were playing uh, no. UNLV from Larry Johnson's time. <sighs> Baylor got beat again. A whole bunch of teams got beat over the weekend. Maryland. Michigan State, though. Watch that. That's They're your all, boy. He's yeah. getting hot. Yeah, he's the guy. We'll Look get, out. Get, get him ready in the game. I hope he has enough talent. That's why I, I don't know if he has enough players. I don't think he about. does. I don't, you know, that, that's what worries me because they're playing great basketball, but I just think that, that, boy, you better be talented to win that whole, all the way through. I agree. Uh, let's talk. No, I wait, I'm him. not saying he doesn't have talent, but he no. lost his best shooter. No, that talent. I'm shooting yeah, talent. Yeah, no, he's got to win, right. a, win the whole yeah, thing. Got, you have to have a couple pros yeah. or, or guys that are close. I told you two worst teams I've ever seen. They played each other yesterday at 4 o'clock. Right. Northwestern and uh, Nebraska. I felt bad for the, it was just <laughs> awful. Now, a long shot to win the tourney. We've talked about some teams. We've talked Florida State. We've talked Baylor. We've talked Michigan State. What I like this week, the one bitter start. St. Francis and Robert Morris are hosting. If you lose, you're out. If you win, you move on to Thursday. It's the best thing going in sports. That the, the pressure is on you. If you, you, you have to win because you know if you don't win, you're not going. And, and there's a sixth seed down there saying, well, you know, we can still go. We, can still, we win this tournament. It's a new beginning. I love it. It's I my saw, favorite. I, I saw one yesterday like that, uh, the, the tournament, the Western Kentucky, overtime with North Tech. They can beat them. No doubt in my mind. That's they what I'm play saying. next what week. Example. They play. And I and, and I told my buddies at St. Francis, you know, they're, they're the two. Robert Morris is the one. Uh -huh. I said, just worry about winning. Robert Morris may not win two That's what always game. happens. Then, then you end up oh, going exactly. to the five seed. Yeah, you end up playing somebody you didn't expect to play. Exactly. Yes. Uh, miscellaneous with a minute. The XFL. One good thing about it, uh, a couple of these college teams are going to use some of their rules in their spring okay. game. Okay. I think the best thing they did for us is the 30-second review. Mm -hmm. We'll like that. Right. And yesterday, I have to close on this. This little girl is singing the national anthem. She appeared to be Asian. Eight years Eight old. Eight years old. I saw it. She killed it. I'm, I never watched NASCAR in my life, but I happened. And they said, this is little whatever. And they bring her out, Albert. She killed that song. I watched. You know, I was like, you know what's interesting, George? Bravo. I didn't like it a bit. No. <laughs> no. You didn't think she was good? Oh, no. I, th I thought she was talented, but I thought she was showing off. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, 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 said, I just want. Oh. I just want. Oh, you want a minute, five seconds. I want the <laughs> national. An no, that's me. I, know. I want the national saying like I grew up singing it. Yeah. Oh, say. Yeah. yeah no, yeah. she had. Not, but not, she. Not, she not, yeah. 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 I she thought, had notes yeah. that I... I thought she was she, terrific. She's a great singer, but I don't want to hear that. Wilder <laughs> took the rematch. You surprised? No, they're going to make another 30 million. Yeah. Thanks again for watching Bottom Line Sports Talk. We'll see you next week. See you.